what's up guys happy saturday it is the weekend we're going to take a look at the bitcoin charts also we're going to be taking a look at the longer term what i think we could be looking at in a couple weeks here could be a huge decision for bitcoin also we're going to take a look at the smaller time frames and we'll take a look at the dow jones litecoin and ethereum and show you what i'm thinking about in the charts definitely stick around for the whole video don't forget we have a free discord group in the description below the video and let's get into it all right guys as always this is not financial advice trading advice nor is it investment advice always do your own due diligence and your own research before investing or trading in any market as markets can be very volatile and risky also i want to remind you tomorrow we're doing the ledger nano s giveaway all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed to the channel tick the notification bell to get you notified when i post new videos smash that thumbs up and leave your comments down below we will be picking a winner tomorrow and looking at the fear and green index we are at 73 we dropped one point from yesterday still in the greed zone and as you guys know still looking at this as lower highs in the macro um as of right now if there is a possibility we could break this 139 um, and get up to around the 14.1 and I'll show you why I'm looking at that and I will show you what and when will make me bullish I know a lot of people are saying that I've been bearish forever I'm bearish in the macro guys and I remain bearish in the macro I will show you what will make me bullish and let's take a look at it but as you can see higher highs in the price action lower highs in the RSI down here um, that is bearish divergence in the monthly doesn't mean it plays out in a day let's take a look at the weekly this is where i showed you on the thumbnail now the really bullish case scenario would be looking at this white symmetrical triangle and its measured move is about 27 to 28,000. then we have the yellow trend lines in here looking at a rising broadening wedge and the measured move of that was 16 those are the very bullish case scenarios um, as of right now i mean it does look bullish you can't deny that but i still do not believe that this is the beginning of a true bull run uh, one reason is the elections are coming up that is in how many what a week a little over a week um so it's it's gonna get pretty interesting guys and what i'm gonna show you first of all let's look at the volume declining in the weekly price rising in the weekly let's take a look at the rsi so this is what i'm looking at guys and this is where i think the opportunity is going to arise as a major possibility for a huge opportunity to buy or long down here as long as we do not close a weekly above this trend line here let me move this out of the way for a minute as you can see we've got resistance support resistance support and as of right now we are getting resistance here um i think as if we close as long as we close this week below this line there's still a possibility we could get a run up next week but as you guys know and i've stated a million times on this channel the rsi follows the body of the price action the candle not the wick so the bot the wick can go up next week if we close below this trend line we could have one more rise next week which of course would be before the election i know people think that it matters who gets elected here but if you look at the real picture i'm just speaking my mind here you can look at it however you want but if you look at the real picture it doesn't matter who gets elected there is going to be chaos there is going to be unrest it's going to be nuts and to think that things are going to continue up from there in my opinion is ridiculous um th they don't mention all the people that are about to lose their homes as soon as the deal runs out where they don't have to pay rent or pay mortgage that's going to run out guys and it's going to be ugly there's like 50 percent of people or 50 percent of, of housing that are in court for either foreclosure or eviction and as soon as the i don't even remember what it's called but as soon as the act to protect them runs out 
It's going to get ugly. There's going to be unrest. There's going to be a lot of homeless people. Why in the world would things rise from there? For one, people aren't going to have money to buy into stuff. But anyways, we are right at that point here. And like I said, next week, we could rise above this in the RSI, but the close is what matters. A close below this, and we are going to continue down, in my opinion, to this area. And I sh will show you where them targets are. And if you use the Elliott Wave Triangle Theory, we have a an A, a B, C, a D, E would be down here. And after that, I believe would be a great opportunity to buy in if this plays out this way. Um, if you guys are interested in trading, this is Prime XBT, my favorite exchange. I don't trade against you like all the others. If you are interested, I'll leave a Prime XP tutorial up top. Check it out. You can use my promo code Savvy50, get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit, up to one Bitcoin to use towards your margin. Also, Savvy25 will get you 25% off your fees. You can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything on this one exchange with using your Bitcoin as collateral. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. This is my wife's webpage. If you guys want to help support the channel, inkyourimage.com. It is. She has lots of quality stuff on here, guys. She can make anything you want on any of this stuff. So family pictures, whatever. If you got gift ideas, somebody likes some other cryptos whatever let her know hit her up in the contact she'll hook you up i do appreciate it um all right let's look at what's going on here i am gonna let's get this off here i'm gonna get these off here a lot of people right now are thinking this is what's going on this is bullish and it's pretty much looking just like it looked over here that is a possibility in the bullish case scenario but as you can see our election was way back here this time. If it's on a four-year cycle, then we're not here yet. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. This is a three-year difference, not a four-year. And I know a lot of people think it's a four-year cycle. Just to be aware that, yes, this looks a lot like this over here, but it does not mean that that is what's going to happen. Let me get this stuff off of here now. And we're going to zoom in over here and look at what's going on i've been talking about this for quite some time and i always do that with my damn drawing anyway all right so we're looking at this as a rising broadening wedge the break of that is around the four thousand dollar range remember guys we have a cme gap um, all the way down at the 36 or 3570 range i'm not saying it has to go there but be aware that it's down there um a lot of people think it's impossible that we're ever going to see below 10,000 again. We should know within the next couple weeks where we're going to go, like I said, on that weekly RSI. But let's take a look at what we've been talking about here. And if we look at the rising broadening wedge in pink, if we come up to retest the top of this, that's going to be around the $14,100 range if we do it in the next couple days. Um, you know, if we did get our high in the next next week sometime, we could be up in the 14.5 or somewhere. We'll keep an eye on it. But as of right now, we've also been watching this trend line right here from that old rising broadening wedge. And our daily, if we close the daily above 13,060, it's right about in that area right now. If we close today's daily, above this, then chances are we're gonna continue up here. Uh, what I'd really like to see to know we're gonna go up here is a candle open and close above this trend line on the daily. Now let's take a look at the measured moves here. If we were to come back down here, um, we're looking around, and depending, if this was in the next few days, which it probably would take longer than that, but if it was around 10,400, and our measured move of that would get us down to around the $6,500 range. Um, at a break of this here. Now, if we were to break up in the next couple days past that 14 one, the bullish case. And guys, another thing I want to point out is that I am not worried about Bitcoin as I have sold all my Bitcoin. But if we did break these levels and we were truly going to the $100,000 range, like people seem to think that we're going to get there by next year or whatever, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but if it was to happen, I don't have a problem buying in, buying back in up here, buying my Bitcoin and riding it up. 
But until a break of this, I'm not even one bit concerned about that. But let's take a measured move. If we were to break up there, we could be looking at a target of around the $18,000 range. So taking a look at that, and like I said, our measured moves down here, I do believe that 14.1, if we even get up to that range, is gonna be about it. Um, let's take a look at four hours. So on the four hour, here's that same trend line. We we haven't even closed a, open and closed a four hour above this. So if the next four hour, and as of right now, um, it is about 11.30 my time, we have 34 minutes left in this candle. So if we do close above this line, open another candle, open and close above of a four hour candle could bring us up to this range. Um, but keep in mind, it does look like we are just ranging in between the 13.3 and the $12,700 range. A break of one of those will give us our next direction. But as of right now, like I said, this is what I'm watching. Um, and again, could get up to this 14.1, whatever, somewhere in that area, depending on how long it would take to get up there. And let's take a look at the bigger picture here. So where we were looking at this rising wedge with the measured move of the $6,000 range down here, I have these measured move or these retracement levels. If this was the top, which like I said, it could be the 14.1 area. But if this was the top here, our first area of support for our retracement will be the 0.236 at about 11,030 right in that range if that was the break then we'd be looking at the 0.382 at around 9660 remember we have a cme gap down here and then the 0.5 would be about 8536 and of course our golden pocket zone in between 7150 and 7400 area in that vicinity and then if we look at, there's our measured move. If we break down below that, we have the 0.786 Fib at 58. And then of course we have that CME gap down here all the way at 3570. And again, we do not have to go down there, but it is something to keep in mind. Everybody is turning extremely bullish right now. And I've said it before, I get it, but um, I'm just not convinced. And I just told you what would convince me. Weekly RSI is key for me. Um, now let's say we go up to this 14 one, then that's going to move our swing high on our Fibonacci retracement up to this level. And then that's going to move all these zones up by, uh, roughly 500 bucks somewhere in there. So that's where I'm at with that. And that would also put the, if we get up to that 14 one and go down from there, that would put between 7,400 and 7,760 as our golden pocket zone. Um, and that's in the bigger picture, guys. If we go back over to this weekly, if we did come down around here, that would mean we bottom out somewhere around first or second quarter of next year. Um, we'll see what happens. But like I said, we are coming up on elections and this stuff matches up. And I'm gonna show you more in the Dow Jones here in a minute. And then Litecoin and Ethereum, we're gonna look at the bigger picture in there. So let's get on with the one hour. So on the one hour, same thing, that trend line around 14.1. If we take longer to hit it, obviously it goes a little higher, but a break of this trend line is where I start to look more bullish. But as of right now, if we came back down to retest this trend line, it's gonna be around 12.5, a break of that. Then we're looking at that 12,000, 50 to 12,100, which also matches up with our last look. And then we have this trend line at this old resistance became support and resistance again. And now we broke through, this would be support at 11.1, a break of that. Then we're looking down at our targets here of 96.60 to 95, between 95 and 9,700, which would close that CME gap at 96.70 or wherever it's at, somewhere down there. All right, Dow Jones, this also matches up. I've been talking about another possible uh, black swan of it, like we had over here. And as you can see, the RSI is matching up, looking just like it. Everything's lining up the same. The RSIs or the uh, EMAs here are starting to turn over just like they did back here. That's another thing that matches up with the election. Now, if I'm wrong, everything flies up after the election then i'm wrong but as of right now this is still what i'm thinking guys 
I'm looking in the bigger picture here. Let's look at Litecoin, where Litecoin's at. On this last move here from the swing high to swing low, we are getting resistance at the golden pocket zone. Um, if we are able to break above this at about 59.50 and get support, then the next level is a 0.786 FIB, which is about 63.24. So if Bitcoin got up to the 14.1 area, I would be looking for this to get up to the 63, 63 63.30 area. And if you look at the bigger picture, that is a triangle in there. Let's look at Ethereum. Same thing from the swing high to swing low. We are getting rejected at the golden pocket zone. If Bitcoin was to go to that 14.1 and we broke the 430 range and got support there, 450 would be the 0.786 FIB. Um, and that's what I'm looking at there, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Smash that like button. Leave your comments. That'll get you entered to win the Ledger Nano S. And, uh, yeah, I'm just curious to what you guys think, where you're at here on the macro. Do you think this is it? Do you think this is the massive start of a massive bull run? Do you think this is going to line up with the elections and plummet? Let me know what you think. I am extremely curious to see what you guys think about it. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy.